crimes against Oriath, you have been exiled to the forsaken continent of Rehast. <laughs> the Magisters of Oriath are merciful and have granted all exiles one weapon. Choose wisely. Oriath has bestowed a gift upon you, a chance to redeem your crimes, a new life. Do not squander it. How's it going, everybody? We have here a Path of Exile tutorial about the character class, the Ranger. This is a game made by Grinding Gear Games, a nice indie company. They're based out of Auckland, New Zealand. One of my favorite upcoming developers that have actually tried to create a really cool game from an old style of dungeon crawlers. So the first thing we're going to do is pick up a bow and talk to this guy. It gives us a little bit of backstory. Kill this undead monster who just ate your friend. So this is the typical ranger class. It fights from a distance with bows. This is one of my favorite classes in this game right now. Awesome. Armor drop right in the beginning. That's <laughs> three armors. Great. <laughs> well see which one's the best. It looks like the plus 15% quality seems to be better. I think I'll just stick with that one. If you have any plus percentages of quality on your armor or weapons, it'll actually give you uh, a different type of defensive or offensive bonus. really cool lighting effects with this game. Actually, I'm running the game on max settings on my computer. Really love water effects. Especially what uh, Grinding Gear Games has done with the waterfall and the lightning effects. Really cool looking. A little bit of the mountain environment. Cool, helmet. Extra defense always helps. Oh, we need some more drops like that to complete our ensemble. So if we go down to the beach area here, we can run into some more monsters and look at the actual water. Kinda nice the way the light shines off of the water like that as if the moonlight is above you. Ah, what do we have here? Magic pair of gauntlets, perfect. And a 7% increase in armor. Even though it only, probably only gives me one or two points extra of defense because the base defense is so low. It's extra defense, it always helps out. Probably gonna change it up later on anyways, but for right now in this beginning tutorial it definitely helps out a lot. Scroll of wisdom. <laughs> Just keep popping up. Alright, Greaves. Those will auto auto equip. Definitely have a full armor set now. Starting to get filled up on my inventory. The bow's definitely not better than the one I have, so I'll just stick with what I have. that are based on the weapons and items that I drop. The colors that you see from all the different armor pieces actually signify what type of skill gem can be placed inside of it. So if you customize your armor and you want it, cool, level up. You can definitely choose to have specific gems and skills in your armor that you wouldn't otherwise be able to be there. So since I've leveled up, I want to show you the skill tree system really quick. This skill tree system is used by every single character class in the game. Every character starts at a certain point in the skill tree, which you can then branch off from and create the character that you like to play as. Now, depending on your style, that will depend on what part of the tree you want to start with. But right now, I'll stick with 6% increase attack speed because that will help me with my bow attacks. 
but uh, that skill tree is very, very cool and uh, always reminds me of the Final Fantasy X skill tree system, except this one is a lot more advanced and a lot bigger. pulls the sword out of his chest he proceeds to beat you with it really cool I love that I love the way grinding gear games spent a lot of time on this actual character because this character is very memorable for me. and he drops crap that's definitely expected this is just the beginning of the game I have a full ensemble of armor to start with and now that I go through this door, I can actually enter the actual town area where I can then talk to NPC characters uh, for quest lines. I can talk to them to buy specific uh, items and weapons from the shop. And you can even complete quests by talking to them. So this guy gives me an actual quest to look for a medicine chest. Now this guy actually, once you complete his quest, will give you the option to choose a skill gem to start with. Now this is really, really awesome because depending on which one you want to choose, it will depend on what character you want to play as. So I'm going to start with the lightning arrow. That's really, really powerful. But that seems to be the end of the tutorial. That's the end of the first stage. Thanks. Have a good one.